Yo, what's good boys, welcome to the video. So today, we are gonna be making six beats, all different genres, using my new drum kit, and your guys' loops as well, most importantly. So shout out to every single producer who sent me loops. Pop, trap, drill, dancehall, R&B, and lo-fi slash boom bap hip hop type shit. We're gonna go ahead and make all those beats right now in one sitting, and uh, yeah, this is just proof that with these sounds, you can do it too. You know, I've never made really much pop, I've not made a lot of boom bap either, um, and especially not dancehall. So yeah, those ones are gonna be interesting. Also, I forgot to mention, uh, this video will not be filmed using this camera. It will be done with the webcam, just because I really want to focus on the beats and not kind of the video quality, if that makes sense. Like, for example, every 30 minutes, this camera needs to be reset and just the battery and stuff and everything like that. Like I just thought, you know, let me just stick on the webcam, fresh from streaming, by the way. If you want to come check out a live stream, get your beat listened to, some feedback, then definitely look out for those. The only way to know though is to subscribe because I don't really announce these things. I kind of just do it. So if you turn on notifications, you'll get a little notification saying Jack's live come through. Without any further ado, let's get into this video. Basically, it's not just a drum kit, it's many drum kits in all different genres. We've got boom bap, lo-fi, dancehall, drill, pop, R&B, trap, and obviously the respective sounds in uh, in all of them. So today I'm gonna try and make a beat for every single kit. Yeah, we're testing it out, it's gonna be fun. I thought I'd share the process with you guys uh, because yeah, this is what goes into making a kit these days, making a drum kit. You know, you got to make the sounds, but you've also got to test them out because they got to be usable. So we'll see. Centurio Beats. This is a drill one. A sharp minor. Let's see what it sounds like. Let's see. Perfect. Now the loop's all chopped up. So it's C minor, so we can start laying some drums over this now. All sorts of stuff in there. Even got some nice hi-hats. A few hard kicks. A few nice snares. So let's just go straight in. velocity chain. Also, if you sent me a loop and you labelled it by uh, key and tempo, you're an absolute legend. Little effects there sound hard. So I won't even get reverb, so that's all good.
try something real quick. Let's try C minor. <laughs> I think that sounds a lot better now, doesn't it? Crazy. Could be fun. <laughs> Woo! There we go, that's the jewel beat done. All right, boys, let's move on to, well, the next one. We'll see which one that is, I don't know yet, but. Should be our trap. Yeah. So I'm just chopping up the sample right now. I don't think I even need this light on, you know. Yeah, I literally don't need it on. It's just blinding me for no reason. Let's do another version of it where we pitch it down an octave. Sub 7 minus 5 to make 12. And that goes.
change to a sound line. Sounds nice. nice beat so yeah in conclusion i think with the trap kit it's definitely a less finished than the drill one so far at least uh i feel like we need to add a lot more sounds in there like and take out some of the ones that aren't so great uh, so yeah that's great that'll be noted down and we will do that for sure i feel like this is a really cool process that you guys probably didn't even know about this is what we do like this is the kind of lengths we go to to ensure that the sounds we put out there are usable and worth the money you pay for them so uh, we need to do pop, R&B, dancehall, and lo-fi. Okay, so let's see what other loops we have and see if we can kind of squeeze in a little, a little something, something. It's like R&B. So we're gonna chop this up. And get all the parts to it. Uh, so that's like the whole loop, I guess. Thanks, man. This is so nice.
yeah, the per the percussion in this in this kit is second to none. It is so good. So that's by far my favorite drum kit so far. So yeah, that is the R and B beat done as well. Boom bat right there. Shout out to Orozov. Same deal as before. Never ever done a boom bat drum kit in my life. Uh, I have made quite a few boom bat beats, so it's actually boom bat slash lo-fi. So yeah, some of these sounds are going to sound a little bit like soft and fucked up, but so much stuff in here. Oh, the start of a snare. Got a massive swing on there. That's not how that's so low fi So hard. Obviously, I have some little vinyls in there. Still a bass, it's really missing that kind of low end thump. A few more of those like little vocal chops. So, duh, 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 like maybe we could do some more vocal chops in there. That'd be really nice. Uh, I think that would go really well. So yeah, noted. Okay, cool. So two more to go. Pop. Okay, cool. It still kind of sounds we have lurking in here. Lurking. <laughs>
what's the typical pop tempo? Typical pop BPM. That sounds like a nice little bass sound. This is a happy little pop beat, bro. What the fuck? surprised me uh yeah again i think we have an issue with bases i think we just need to do a bit more of a variety and make sure we add in a lot of more usable sounds as well struggling to find one there a little bit oh two r&b loops yeah shout out to uh, inksa i believe we used that sample there from inksa shout out to you bro never made one of these beats really before either. is hard. sounds like 
Uh, yeah, so that's the video I've done. I hope you guys have enjoyed. That's all the beats made. I'm super happy with those. I was really actually surprised with how great some of those kits are. Like I said in the beginning, um, the trap kit is mainly the one that is kind of unfinished um, because we really wanted to focus on kits we've not done before. I've done probably five or six trap drum kits before, whereas I've never ever done a boom bap kit, or a low a lo fi kit, freaking RB, like all of that stuff pop. Like, so we really focus more on those kits than the trap one. But yeah, the trap one will be done very shortly. But yeah, like I said, the, the, the collection, the drum collection is going to be available to pre order. Uh, very soon so yeah make sure you check out that once it drops keep an eye out uh, on my socials because I will be announcing it very very soon um, and yeah you can get all those kits used today um, but yeah big shout out to those producers once again who sent loops forward for me really helped me out couldn't do it without you guys um, yeah hope you enjoyed the video like I said if you did leave a like subscribe if you're new and I'll see you guys in the next one peace